The next step in analyzing our customer sunset graphics is to create a structure model and create that blueprint for the development of a relational database. To do that, we're going to enact our um, REA framework. Remember, REA is our resources, events, and agents. Um, and we're going to use that approach to help us along. So here's what we know about our customer sunset. Each sunset partner may participate in a minimum of zero quotes and a maximum of many quotes. But each quote involves only one sunset partner. Each customer may participate in zero to many quotes, and each quote is prepared for only one customer. And each quote specifies prices and quantities for at least one product. If we were to take what we just learned about sunset graphics and model it out, this is what our UML class diagram would look like. We've got it in our REA format our resources being products, our events being the quote, and our agents being the sunset partner and the customer. Pointing out that we've got our multiplicities on here, um, linking our relationships um, along our associations. Now if we'd like to take it a step further, we can add the order event to our diagram. So now we have not only just quote, but we also have order. Okay, And here we see each quote can result in a minimum of zero orders and a maximum of many orders. Each order may be related to zero or one quote. Some orders don't have quotes, as we're kind of pointing out. So we've got the relationship going here. And then order also is related to product, partner, and customer. We can continue on and add another um, event here called the cash receipt. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Like we've got another resource of cash correlated to our other event of cash receipt. So here if we take a look at five, each order can be either paid or unpaid. So we see the relationships and multiplicities there. And six, each cash receipt is deposited into one bank account. And so this would be the completed structure model for our sales and collection process. And now's a good time to point out that we could also have what we call type images. And type images are just for categorical information. These apply guidelines, constraints, and descriptive information um, to any of our REA uh, resources, events, or agents. Uh, and they just help with the process. Type images also support summarization of the economic activity. And this is really to support management's information requests. So Sunset Graphics, they're going to give us some type images they would like to see for management purposes, being product categorization, order status summary, and assignment of partners to manage product categories. So let's take a peek and see how that's going to look. So these type images we can see here being the in the blue boxes, the product categories and order status. They're going to allow Sunset to establish appropriate categories for the related classes. So, you know, for products, um, there would be pro different product categories that they could now run reports on. Um, or order, there would be different order statuses if they would maybe want to run a report on, um, you know, just entered orders or completed orders, they'd be able to do that by adding this type image uh, to our diagram. Type images, they can also support the control activities by designating responsibility. So here, you know, a sunset partner could be assigned the responsibility to manage a certain product category. 
Well, that completes uh, our review here, and thank you for joining me.